Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Luxury Live Show. With me here is my co-host, Fashion B, Amy. And thank you to everyone who is already commenting. So this is our weekly live show, and we do this every single week. So this week's on my channel. Next week's going to be on Amy's. And we also now have a members live, which I'll talk about shortly. So today, um, we've got an interesting topic because of all the crazy price increases with Chanel. I guess another um, one coming well, up and another one coming up apparently. we can talk about that later so <laughs> Amy's got yeah. some news <laughs> yeah uh yeah so with all that uh I think a lot of us even including myself like I did a video have I even filmed it I, I, I don't know I've been filming but I think I haven't been editing that I've been kind of looking elsewhere as well a little bit just just for kind of like the fun bags but I know a lot of people are looking at YSL so I thought today let's you know we'll all talk about YSL. We've got quite a few slides. We've got like 30 slides for you. Yes. So I guess, yeah, the idea today is that we selected some, not all, obviously, some of our favorite bags that we thought are good. Uh, you can call it an alternative, but it's also, you know, just a good choice as, as you know, as a luxury lover, as a handbag lover, something that you might consider to be part of your collection, especially if the price ranges of, you know, Chanel, even LV has gone up so much. Oh, LV is a lot yeah. now. And, and actually most brands, a lot of brands are still very expensive. Celine is very expensive. Fendi is very expensive. Prada, it depends what you buy, <laughs> right? You can buy the nylon bags for affordable prices, but still for a nylon pur purse, it, it is expensive. So I guess it's all relative. But yeah, YSL seems like a good alternative overall or just a good brand, actually, a mm -hmm. good brand in mm -hmm. general. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, so let me just start. Um, as I was saying, now we have a members live. So thank you. I mean, we've done this. Is this our... Are we coming up to our first year of this? No, no. Soon. Not in um, Soon, actually. It will be around, I think, in, in the summer. It wow. will be our first year, like one year, full year of uh, anniversary of the membership live. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you to all our members. We really appreciate it for the support. And uh, we love the additional, more like casual, lots of secrets kind of. Sunday or well, for Sunday for me and then of course uh, Saturday for you uh, Amy and uh, yeah it's been amazing so tomorrow we have one we have like yes. uh, sharing some unboxings and then we got some announcements <laughs> as well so join us if you want to join us tomorrow so as usual uh, we have the live Q&A we would love to hear your comments about YSL or you have any questions for us put a bunch of question marks at the front and uh, they'll help us see um, from this platform to pull it forward and of course, if you're new, this is the way we usually pick out questions uh, to the Q&A. All right, let's get started. We'll just go straight into it. Uh, I'll let yeah. Amy go first. Okay, okay. So this is one that I selected and I thought it was really cute. It totally reminded me of um, a little bit of the Prada, <laughs> the little Prada crystal bag that I just bought. I mean, the shape, the shape. It is a very 90s shape, um, just a cute little shoulder bag on your armpit and very simple. There's not much to it. It's just um, has this little closure in the front and the top is open. It does look like it has a slip pocket on the inside with a zipper, but that's pretty much it. Just leather, solid YSL logo and in all kinds of colors and textures. Um, you know, obviously I picked one, I picked this one not only due to the style, but also Price-wise, it's very reasonable. You're looking at, okay, so these prices I did pull from Mattress Fashion. Mattress Fashion is one of the, I don't know, I feel like they select really great selections, but obviously you can shop on your local at your local YSL boutique. Um, so this is the price that they have on Mattress Fashion. So around 2000 US dollars, you can get this solid leather bag and just really cute. It's just a really cute uh, and and classic silhouette, uh, something that you can go from day to night, and it's current. It's it's a current style. So, what do you yeah. think of this one? I, I really like this, and it has a one up from the Prada version because I think the strap is adjustable. 
So yeah, I you guess know, so. Yeah, it's like yeah, it looks like it is there. Yeah, so if you don't want it to be like too under your armpit, you can like sort of like lower it. And yeah, I forgot to say we we both of us we decided to hone in on mattress fashion because like Amy said they they had a lot of new bags, new YSL bags that when I actually checked the YSL site, I didn't see some of them. So we decided to use this site to pull out the pictures and then you can obviously go to Matches Fashion to check it out. They have so much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Colors. I'm a big fan on, in general of Matches Fashion just because their buyer seems to, seems to choose really good stuff. Mm. Uh, fashion buyer. So that's why I tend to like to go there to... to and they have a very good selection of YSL bags and um, ready to wear as well. So that's yeah. the first one that I picked. And this is the next one that I picked. So this one, why do I like it? I like the quilting on it. Mm. And the strap, it, it's kind of a mix of everything, right? It's it's just a camera bag, yes. So a very classic shape, yes. But the strap kind of reminds me of the uh, Bottega one. <laughs> I was just going to say, yes. Let me grab mine. And then the, the quilting in the front has it just adds a nice detail right it's it's not chanel but it's also um yeah it's also nice it's it's just something extra the little logo yeah there you go cat's bag the bottega bag has that um kind of loop and little uh threaded leather strap and it's just cute i i just think that for the price you're looking at 15 around 1500 us dollars it's it's a solid casual everyday camera bags are very very roomy and just just super cute like this girl she's wearing crossbody and on the shoulder super cute on her love those heels <laughs> my kind of heels <laughs> and um, yeah and even the color it's just like a darker green oh, army oh i love color. the color when i saw this pic i was like mm, <laughs> good choice amy <laughs> it's very neutral it's just easy you don't even have to love green this is not a crazy green color it's just a very neutral green right so yes, it is. just an easy bag and i i even like that the logo is sort of like that age it looks aged to me a little age yellow gold very nice very yeah. nice little logo very discreet doesn't scream too much everything but just you know just looks like it's a bag that you can use and throw around <laughs> good pick this one you know one thing i noticed when i was actually browsing through the ysl site is that um i, I don't want to say that they're not original but it's that they have sort of understood what people like in the whole yeah. luxury industry and then from various brands and they have sort of done their take on it Right. It's it's like, you know, a little bit of Bottega, a little bit of Chanel, a little bit of everything. But when it comes together, I think it still looks good. It's not a copy, you know, but it's sort of that um, like the, the features that they say, ah, that's a really good feature. How can we make it YSL? That, that's how I got a feel of it. No, exactly. And honestly, everyone copies everyone a little yeah. bit. It, the, 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 all the inspirations, they all even the inspirations become trendy in fashion. And everybody uses it eventually. So, I mean, quilting, it's like, does Chanel have, have it patented? I mean, okay, I guess people won't do exactly the same quilting uh, angles as Chanel, but like, you know, you can have your own quilting. So it's just all of that combined together. And it's just a solid bag, right? All leather, really cute. I actually really like this. Yeah, yeah really the proportions nice. are good. Color is good. A little bit of logo, not too much. Front pocket, side pocket. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> okay, thank <laughs> you. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So this, I thought it was really cute. Just something, uh, again, kind of modern. A bit more logo forward, but still just looks super cute. Uh, if you like your mini bags. And um, again, we're going from the angle of choosing as an alternative or just in general if you love the brand or just in general if you love handbags and you just like different styles this is one of the styles to consider just a little this shape again it reminds me a little bit of the celine, <laughs> the celine oh i was just gonna say bag, that yeah. funny bag. Uh, i like the compartments that it has i know it's a small bag but it just looks well made there's something about <laughs> this shape 
the way everything is, uh, you know, the leather, the even the smooth leather finish, and just the simple strap and that one big logo in front, just to me, I don't know. It, it just looks cool, modern, and doesn't break the bank, and I just like it. Yeah, I, it's it's a it's a simple looking bag, you know, like you said. Um, definitely does remind me of Celine. <laughs> but, uh, right? it also gives me a bit of like uh, the Constance vibe. Yeah. So it's like yeah. a it's like a baby. If you know, if Chanel the Celine box had a baby with the Hermes Constance, this would come out for YSL because you got the logo at the front as well. <laughs> and it's a great way to just try out this shape because personally, yep. I'm not um I'm not a fan personally of bags that are too curved on the on the bottom because it makes placing your things kind of awkward. It kind of gets, it does. it's not as orderly. But this one is not too bad. It's just a, a bit of curve and you can try it out, right? It's not, it's not gonna break the bank. So you can definitely try it out. I like this comment from Miles. He said, YSL is an underrated brand. They have so many beautiful styles, exactly. And that is, so that is sort of like that, from that angle that we're coming from too, like, there's just so many designs that are, like Kat said, it's, it looks like it, it could be inspired from other brands too, but it's, they make it their own mm -hmm. and somehow it, it just works and it, it just works. is, becomes their own, right? So, yeah. yeah. Actually, when I was perusing the matches fashion, I didn't know until you said that, you know, they have got so many, their, their buyer, their fashion buyer is really good. So when I was looking, I, I was like, wow, I've never seen so many bags different styles because usually i will go to the store right and at the store yeah there's a lot of styles but anyway when we go through you will see okay so i'll just move on okay <laughs> <laughs> yes so up next it's very similar it's the basically the same bag but i like that it is it's a different texture it's a fun texture and for just a little bit more money because the uh, the previous one was 1700 us this one is just over 2000 us but you get a bit of lamb shearling and it's a neutral uh, color. In Hermes world, this would be called the gold color. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. The brown, the brown, the tan brown. And it's just a cute little, it's the same bag, right? It's just a little cute bag. And if you want the the different textures, I think I, I just watched a GPS video this week where he was talking about buying, or was it, it could have been just on our live. I don't remember. It could have been his video or on our live where he, where we found out why he loved suede so much. It's because it, you know, he dresses in black so much that the only way to differentiate not just a blob of black is to have different textures, which is totally makes sense. That's how you do monochromatic in a way that is interesting. So, um yeah, this is just a nice little uh, different material. And honestly, the price is so reasonable for this because if you ever go to Chanel and buy a shilling bag or any other brand, actually, it doesn't matter which brand. I'm just bringing Chanel up because I love Chanel. You're going to pay an arm and a leg for that. And I don't know if I ever really want to invest that kind of money in a Chanel shilling bag. You know, I'll do it for another brand that is like YSL, like this one. But yeah, Chanel, nah, I'll just go for the classics. <laughs> mm, true true totally i will go for classics now with the prices i'll have yeah. fun with every other brand yes i agree okay good one <laughs> i'm not a fan <laughs> I, okay for me shirling is it's nice to look at but uh I, i'm all because in singapore right it rains and all rains right and rains. yes <laughs> it's not so practical but it's fun okay if you like a shirling bag you can manage it yeah, this is definitely more of a bag for uh for for where you live has more of a four different season, like a very distinct season. Mm -hmm. This is more like a bag that you want to cuddle when it's cold, <laughs> you know, in the fall, in the winter, even beginning yes. of spring. Yes. In the summer, no, I don't want I don't want to wear a shilling bag, no way. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One more from you before okay. I go. All right, all right. So I chose this one. Why? Because this tweed really uh, looks good. It just, I mean, we don't always have to just look at leather bags. And, um, you know, 
other materials such as shearling, but shearling is still an animal uh, product, right? So if you're more into um, uh, fabrics and if you just like colors, um, tweed and, and just in general, um, a man-made fabric is more uh, where they can be more creative. So I love the color combo of this tweed. And again, the price is very reasonable. This is called the Kate crossbody bag. I think the Kate bag from OISL has been around for a long, long time. They have many different sizes of Kate bag. Um, so this one looks like it's just the mini size or the small size. And it's just a solid one compartment bag with a cute little chain. And it just happens, this one just happens to be in tweed material. So it's very colorful, but it's still a very, um, it's still a very neutral tweed, in my opinion. A bit of green, a little bit of red, mostly black. And it's just nice. And as I, I bring up the same, same uh, argument as earlier, if I'm going to buy something fun, I mean, I know Chanel tweed is quite good and they are um, they are very nice. They are fun. But I don't know if I'll do I'll, I'll do too many tweed, if ever. Uh, I'll maybe do like a hound's tooth, you know, mm. something very, very classic. But I wouldn't do too much different other tweeds. Um, just from a more financial sort of perspective, of, of course, not, not from a fashion perspective. Um, so yeah, I think this is a, a great alternative if you want I like this tag. I like the color it's different it's uh different for YSL I mean different for YSL uh, I haven't seen anything like this usually when I think of YSL I always think of black gray you know some cream white like dark very um biker kind of feel nothing as like nothing as bright as this and then this came out I was like oh I like this it's just pretty, right? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, like Louis saying here, this is really pretty and Joe as well. Really beautiful I, with the logo. Yeah, it's just so simple, but it's just, there's just something that attracts you. And the I, price is right, honestly. And the, and the price is not bad. <laughs> the price so makes a huge doing... difference nowadays, I think, with all the crazy increases. And just, not just the crazy increases, the prices of luxury has just skyrocketed at this point, right? And it's continuing. The trend is there. You just got to basically have today as a starting point and then work from there. Mm -hmm. I think the Kate used to have something dangling, if I'm not mistaken. They, they, still, not... have they, still, oh, they still have it. I didn't choose that. that one because I'm not a fan. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan. I don't think it's that practical. It's nice, but... It's not that practical. So I'd it's rather like a, it's like a permanent, um, permanent tassel, call it? Like, a, like a tassel, right? Yeah, and it's a like metal tassel. No, okay, thank you. All right, let's get into okay. I'm going to show some, and these are more of the like uh, um, shoulder bags and um, just bigger bags. And obviously, we have to show this because this is so iconic. I have one which I can talk about later as well. Huh? Uh, so this is the puffer, right? This is the one that people like me who have gone if they don't want to get the Chanel 19. And I really stand by this bag. It's so, it's so squishy and uh, it's just so luxe because even though it's lambskin, it's actually really tough and yet still has that lambskin, uh, luscious, soft, really luxurious feel to it. And just like, I guess, the shirling bag, this is the bag that, you know, if you just want to hug, like, I always want to hug it. I always want to squish it. It is a larger bag. Like the one that I picked is the, well, they call it, they call it the small, um, but it would be about the same size as the Chanel 19 or maybe a slightly smaller than a jumbo. So it's, a, you know, in our terms, I guess, a medium size bag. So it is a very practical bag. You can put more things than you, uh, more things if you need. It's great for work. You know, it only has that one YSL logo. Turn it around. Nobody's going to be bothered about it. I, I love this. And it comes up with several colors and, of course, several materials as well. So, yeah. Yeah, I think this bag is just, uh, you know, I know a lot of people compare this to the 19 just because it really is an, a good alternative uh, price-wise. But if you don't 
consider the 19, this bag alone looks very attractive. And I know you own one and you love it. Uh, every bag has pros and cons, but obviously this bag on its own, as its own puffer style, it's very attractive. It's well-made, has good material. Uh, I will pull up this comment, which I totally agree, and we do say that too, from Vivi. I think YSL bags can be an alternative but not a substitute for Chanel. If you want a Chanel, just buy it. Otherwise, you might end up buying more than one bag, right? Totally yeah. agree, yes. Uh, and and like I said, and like we said, actually, uh, always, if you have your heart set on something, just save up for it, get exactly what you want. Don't settle and don't get distracted. I mean, it, it'll it just, yeah, it'll just, and you'll just end up regretting the, the the distractions or or maybe the whatever you settle for so if you have your heart set on the 19 don't look everything else for just buy the 19 it might take a long time to save up for it but just get just get that if that's you know if that's what your heart wants but yeah. this is you know coming from we're coming from an angle of just general looking at other alternatives right because yeah, this is a great bag shop. it's a cute bag yeah. True. Not so much of saying like, you know, you want a Chanel classic flat, but because the price is too high, you're looking sort of like, you really want that, but don't buy it. Come and buy this. It's not that perspective. It's sort of like, you just, you sort of shut the door. Not even, you're not even sort of like, um, how do I, not to say it's a substitute, right? Because what we're saying is that, uh, if you love something, you will end up buying it in the end, right? Yeah. But in this situation, it's not it's it's something that we all just don't want anymore. So if the whether it's the Chanel's are too expensive, the, the Louis Vuitton's too expensive, there are other really good looking bags out there. And they are, you know, they're not a question of you're finding you're finding a substitute. So correct. But we do make that comparison because we can, because we both own these bags. Therefore, we did, we, we even did one show where we compared yeah. these two bags side by side and talked about That's it true. live. Um, and it is a great comparison, but it doesn't mean that you have to settle for the lesser. If, you know, if your heart wants a 19, go for the 19. I see many arguments right now. <laughs> the 19 yeah. is super functional because of the back pocket. True. And um, that's the thing. Like, if you want the 19, go for the 19. You're never going to be totally. happy with anything else. Yeah. yeah <laughs> go for totally, it. totally. So I think maybe yeah. I should share a little bit of my story. So when I want, I, I love the 19, right? I really like the 19. I wish I got the 19 when I got it at the first time. So my story was slightly twisted because, you know, with the whole Chanel thing, I locked it a medium and then the small. But I think I... For me, I wasn't sure if a 19 was something forever in my collection. That's for me, because I have other things that I want to bring forever into my collection. But I love the puffer style. I love it. It's like the style I actually like. And I wanted this squishy bag in my collection. So I decided, hey, there is this alternative that gives me that same uh, feeling, of course, Chanel has better, like you've got a top handle, you've got the back pocket. But in my collection, I have other bags that could fulfill that. I just wanted the squishy bag and it's it's good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it's sort of like you got to figure out what you are actually looking for in the bag. Yeah. Because if you really just love every single element in the 19, please don't buy this bag, okay? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you'll end up, not loving this and you'll have spend double yeah and while you go to the next one for me it's actually not because i love puffer style so much it wasn't at all it's just that when the 19 came out and all the buzz was about it i really fell in love with the style mm -hmm. like just the whole design on itself and of course i'm a big chanel fan to begin with so i i just i just I only like that puffer bag. That's it. Period. Therefore, I would never even looked anywhere else. So yeah, sort of depends on your perspective, right? That's right. Okay, I have to pull another very classic. So I think what I'm showing right now, like before and this, these are really already iconic 
to YSL. When you think YSL, you think Puffo. When you think YSL, you think Lulu. So obviously the Lulu is a good uh, shoulder bag for you to go for as well, right? Very similar um, layout and structure. You know, it's got the strap that can be for the shoulder. It can be even crossbody. You can make it longer for the side. And for this, um, they come in several sizes. So I picked this one because I feel like this is the most, um, maybe for most people, most, most people who carry this, kind of like proportionate because this style is not only a little boxier, but it's also really puffier, which is cute, right? It's like a little marshmallow puffy bag. And if you like compartments, three compartments, it's got a zip inside. Uh, I believe it has a back pocket. Oh, no, no. This one doesn't have a back pocket. Yeah, no back pocket. But the compartments inside is really good for, uh, you know, keeping your things organized. And I just absolutely love these two colors. Of course, the classic is black. But this chocolate is so yummy. And I had to pick a green, of course. That's like a beautiful emerald, emerald green. Yeah, I think I remember trying this bag before. I don't know if I tried this size. I probably did. I probably tried this size and the mini size as well. And I really did like it. Like you said, it's just a cute, it's just a cute and it just looks puffy um, bag. Um, I think a lot of people will, again, compare in terms of alternative uh, this with a mini flap from Chanel. Obviously, they are totally different. They don't even, they don't even look alike. But I think people compare from a point of view of like functionality, from from point of view of just having a crossbody bag that you can wear, and you're not gonna be as stressed out because of Chanel, right? It costs a lot of money. You want to baby it a bit, maybe. Um, so this is just a great all around alternative. I think I didn't buy it because in my head I was like, okay, wait, Amy, you're just distracted. You already have your minis. Don't look at this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the thing. When you love, when you love handbags, you just love all kinds of handbags. Oh, yeah. You get a bit oh, distracted. God. But in the end, I didn't buy it. So I did try it on though. I remember it was very cute. And the, the cute. compartment seems very, very like useful. The price, however, I have to say, it's a little bit more expensive. Mm. Uh, it's definitely have it's definitely gone up. I remember when I saw this, it was in the two thousand, the low right. maybe two 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 three. So you know they're gonna. This is a popular bag. They still have it in their collection, and as you can see, the prices has gone up. Yeah. So, but, uh, but considering back, people do compare this to a mini flap, mini flaps are in the six thousands now. So this is still half of the price. <laughs> true. <Yeah>. True. <laughs> okay, so I'm sticking with the kind of like shoulder bag. This I love. I don't know what it is about this bag. It's so cool looking. It definitely gives that Chanel feel. This Suzanne medium quilted leather shoulder bag. It does have a little like small compartment and like a extra pouch. So it keeps a bit of organization. I actually like it because it's so flat, right? Sometimes with like this kind of like bigger um, A4 size kind of bag, they tend to be maybe a little larger, but I love the fact it's only a little bit that's kind of like really thin. So it looks really sleek. This reminds me of the new uh, Chanel, like the new season, the Chanel bag. It has one like this as well, quite similar. I don't know what model it is, but this is a definitely a more affordable uh, piece. And I love the simplicity of it. The logo, they don't use the big YSL one, just the word Saint Laurent. Um, yeah, I, I actually just like this. Very simple, great for work, great for going out as well. Actually, when I looked at this, I like this better than the Chanel. Yes. I just, there's just something about exactly what you said, the simplicity that is just very, uh, it just draws me to it. And honestly, um, I don't wear a, a ton of tote bags. I, I, I wear mostly nano or, or mini bags, right? So I don't wear a ton of larger size bags. So for me, I wouldn't even go there for Chanel. Like I wouldn't even spend that kind of money. And this would fit the bill totally. It's still all leather. The cool thing is very nice on this. I actually mm -hmm. prefer this one. Yeah. It's like a stitch, right? But it's mm -hmm. it's definitely very Chanel-esque because quilting, right? You just think quilting, you think Chanel. But for this, it really has that feel to it, but in a YSL way. 
I, mm. I like this. I, I think this is a beautiful... Could even be could also all like be a hobo style because I think it will soften at the top, so it's not so flat, but it will kind of like sink in a little bit. Really nice, mm. good alternative yeah, for this one. Good substitute. I, actually, for this word, I'm gonna use substitute for Chanel <laughs> because the Chanel one is very elaborate, very trendy, and I think it's gonna be very expensive. Yeah, and also we have to remind ourselves that this kind. Um, like the equivalent of the Chanel one of this one is still just a seasonal bag. It's just this season and then they might make it in different other seasons, something similar, but it's not really, um, it's not a permanent style. So uh, for me, I would think that this is a better choice. In my opinion, this looks more classic. Mm -hmm. I actually like it better. Yeah. This is a Suzanne. Suzanne medium quilted leather shoulder bag. Mm -hmm. Here's another classic. I think in the past couple of months, I have been seeing a lot of people revealing the Nikki bag. And uh, it's not that it's not popular previously. It was, but with everything, it's not so, uh, maybe not so common on YouTube, right? It doesn't mean just because YouTube is showing all the boxes, it doesn't mean that that's how the world is. But it's just that I have been seeing a few more of these sharings. Uh, I think people are just looking for this alternative, a nice shoulder bag, very functional. It's got different compartments. This has a back compartment, back pocket, front pocket. You know, it can be crossbody, it can be shoulder carry. Uh, I've seen this um, before. My only gripe with this bag, right? Everything else is perfect, but the only gripe I have about this is the magnet. It is really strong. <laughs> <laughs> I I have I think I did my video a couple of weeks um couple of weeks ago maybe a couple of weeks ago I'm losing track of time. So in that video I mentioned that I love YSL bags, but some of their bags have such a strong magnet that it does make me a bit afraid of opening and closing the bag because it really feels like I am pulling the leather. So the Nikki bag is one of it. And the reason I fear for this one is because they use a very similar age, kind of like softer, thinner age uh, calf skin. Oh no, this is actually lambskin. Sorry, this is lambskin. So age lambskins is crinkled leather. So it just feels a little bit more paper thin. Not paper, paper, but it just feels like kind of a texture. So it's such a strong magnet. Though I love the entire design. The pockets are great. That's the only thing that I not sure about if any of you have this bag please comment in the chat is my fear <laughs> totally un it's like i don't need to be afraid of it what do you think of this bag amy uh when i look at this bag it just gives me a very good like work bag feel but still luxury something that you can use because it, it looks quite spacious it looks like a little briefcase actually but it's not a briefcase. You can still carry it as your everyday bag. But it it just looks like one of those, you know, that you can just count on it for fitting a lot of stuff. That's what it reminds me when I see it. Just very functional. Um, yeah. yeah, nothing wrong with it. I think if you're one of those people that like to carry a luxury bag to work, and but you don't need like a very expensive one, but you still want to carry a nice one, then this is definitely a good option. It is. I've seen a lot of people in uh, around Singapore so walking out. This is one of the bags that I I see a lot of people carry. So I just mm. feel like maybe my fear is uh, the words unfounded. Like I'm just like <laughs> maybe it's just me. But um, yeah, I, I like this bag. It's one that I'm very attracted to. I I think um, the practical side of it is useful, right? Great for work. Great for going out. Love the compartments. I love the squishiness of it. So yeah. Medium, Nikki, medium. I think they come in several um, several sizes. There's one bigger than this. Not sure if there's one smaller than this. At 3000 something, it's 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 affordable. Okay, it, it can. It's definitely higher than a lot of their bags. But uh, for a full leather bag, I think this is a good choice. Okay, finally, my final one. This Manhattan bag. I actually saw this in store. I saw a few versions of it. I saw one that has a top handle and I saw um, 
I think one was a top handle and maybe one that's like a clutch. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, they have a new size. This definitely gives me Hermes feels <laughs> with the two sangles like this at the side. But this is their take on it. And I again, I love the simplicity of this bag. The way that the model is wearing it, there is nothing that screams YSL. Which I know a lot of people like. They like they like to carry a white. I mean, like a expensive bag, but they don't really like the logo of it. This has that kind of very simple and very elegant aesthetic. Um, I believe there are several colors. I did not manage to find a picture of the interior, but I think if it's not mistaken, it's just one pocket. If I'm trying to remember from memory when I saw the one with the top handle, but I like this. I I like the simplicity of it. That's the the main thing. What do you think? Yeah, when I looked at this bag, I exactly it just uh, immediately reminded me of oh, Hermes Kelly. Um, oh, that's right. So so on the go. Yeah. So from the point of view of the the look, I like it. But I was just thinking about that as I'm reading the comments, and I have to hundred percent agree from Joe that to access this bag is. A nightmare. Like I was just thinking about it myself. Uh, okay, my shoulder, just like the Kelly. Just like the Kelly. I have to open the two ankles and then the flap. But it's like on my shoulder. Actually, it's on my armpit now. Like you know that kind of situation. So uh, I was just thinking about that as I was like, you know, as you were talking. I was like, mm, yeah, it looks good, but I think I still prefer handheld. But I, I think they're trying, right? They're just trying to give you options. Actually, and I can see I. I it's a fraction a from T. <laughs> okay, T. Tell us. Oh no, no, wait, 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 wait. That's what here, here, here we go. T. I got this Manhattan bag recently. Let us know. We are all thinking. Is it difficult to open and close? Does it hang? You know. But it does look very beautiful. That is what That's I'm. Beautiful. I'm totally agreeing with the looks. Hundred percent looks great. Just, just me thinking about opening this bag. Yeah, might might also annoy me too. <laughs> Well, you know, like the Kelly, right? Because yeah. if you don't buckle it in and you only put it over the... Yeah, I should know the names of all the parts, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which what I is think that? people, that's how they wear it though, right? They don't... What is that thing that sticks out? Yeah. Hey, I, people, I don't what know do you, how to call it. What do you call it? The is it the, the... Not the, the stick. <laughs> the stick. <laughs> well, you put it over the stick, okay lack of the better word, stick. You know, that is the only way to close it. I'm just wondering, like, for this one, what is their version of the stick? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe there isn't one. But my point is, yeah, this bag just is a few extra steps to open, I think, and close. Whereas, um, again, because we're comparing, the Kelly, most people don't, right? They don't... They don't... Mm. Install, they don't... Um, they don't put together back the sangles every time they open and close the bag. So that's true. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna pull out T's coming. Okay, so it's true. Okay, we are all uh, we're right. Okay. It, it is, is a struggle, struggle to open. You have to open both straps. The struggle is real. Uh yeah, and you have to properly align in order for the magnet because it's square. Oh, it's a magnet. That's interesting. So instead of using the stick. It's a magnet. Can somebody please tell us? Isn't that the turn lock? She's oh my gosh, lock, right? yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, what is it? What is it? It's the turn lock. Okay. Uh, but it's a beaut I I for for sure. I mean, whatever the you know, opening, the closing is, the look, the aesthetic, I I love it. I don't even, I know it looks like the Kelly, right? That has that feel of the sangle, but on its own, even though I don't think about it, I just love the look. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, I still got one more. Okay, so we'll just quickly browse through. I think everyone knows this. This is definitely a very, very popular bag. Even I am considering this right now. Again, back pocket. I love the compartment inside. I think it has one compartment. Uh, you can remove the straps. You can use it as a top handle bag. This is everything that I like in a bag. This was one of the bags that I even looked at three or four years ago. But just like the Nikki, what stops me is 
the magnet. But I heard some comments in my video that the magnet actually gets a little bit more loose over the years. Not, not immediately, but over the years. And it, because of that comment, I'm kind of like, okay, maybe I need to try this bag out again. It, it, classic bag, right? Crossbody, good top handle bag, good shoulder bag. It's definitely gone up. When I was looking at it, it was like 2,400. <laughs> so now it's 3,003. But better be 100% sure before I buy something, right? Yeah, you know what? When I look at this bag, it actually reminds me of the 19 in terms of back pocket, top handle, and a long strap as well. So this this is a very good uh, alternative if you like all the, you know, all the little extras that we just mentioned. Um, it, it would be a great work bag again. When I look at this, I just think, oh, it's a nice look, work, like a bag that you can bring to work that mm -hmm. you can fit a bit more, but it's a luxury bag. Obviously, you're not going to fit your laptop in this, but probably your iPad, if it's a mini iPad, probably can, that type of thing. I, I think it fits the iPad, if you get the one size up from this. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it fits a mini iPad. I know Clara has one and she shared with me. I think the mini iPad goes in. Yeah, mini iPad is pretty small, actually. It's just Maybe a bit bigger the than the phone, so it should fit, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, this is my last one. This, I mean, everybody's seen this, so definitely a good bag from YSL. <laughs> okay, okay, so uh, back to my picks. I chose this one because, again, it's just a very attractive price. We're looking at the $1,000 mark, like, you know, just a little over 1500 depending on which, uh, which texture you go for, right? This Chevron one is around 1500 U.S., um, again, it's just a very simple clutch looking bag. It's the Uptown uh, clutch actually, which is the is a proper bag. So there's an Uptown pouch, which is very popular. It's just an SLG that many people buy uh, to use as a clutch. Uh, but this one is an actual proper, uh, you know, they added chains, they added an insert. There's like a card holder insert in there. So it's basically like, a, it's like a walk basically. And um, I don't know about you, but when I look at it, I'm like, oh, it looks very clean, just looks very functional, will fit your essentials, your phone, your card holder, your lip balm, that type of thing. And it's just a nice kind of going out date night, won't break the bang. And um, honestly, YSL leather is very good. The they're their um their pebble leather which is so so close to the chanel caviar leather uh or even their embossed uh exotic looking leather which is still calf skin because i owned the green one before in the embossed crocodile and it's so nice it's just so nice and it really they're so affordable what do you think of this one i like this if i'm looking for a camera bag that i don't want to spend chanel money I go YSL because mm -hmm. I, um, it's more of that functionality, right? Uh, and if this one fits all the functions, right? It's it's like a larger wallet. Um, put my phone inside, my cards. I don't have to, you know, worry about it so much, quote unquote, worry about it. I would rather buy this. The Chanel one has gone up, I think it's like four yeah it's depending on which one you go for because now, now they have the 19 version too which is like in the four thousand range it's which quite expensive yeah so if you're looking for a walk like just something that you can throw around you can even dump it inside your larger bags i don't know if i want to pay such a high price point anymore maybe previously i would still be okay but now maybe not and this actually looks you know, with the whole removing of the strap, it can actually look like a, it can bring it out as a clutch, go for a dinner. It as totally well. is, yeah. Yeah, even more dual purpose. I like this. So yeah, there was I, a I, I honestly think that this is very attractive. Like the style itself, if we're not comparing to anything, if you just look at this and you think mm -hmm. about, oh, do I like this? Yeah. I actually like it. Yeah. There was a video by um, Jesse, Jesse Styles or Jesse in Styles. Uh, she used to work for YSL many, a couple years ago, many years ago. Mm. 
And she was sharing about the leather from uh, YSL. So this embossed, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to say her video from memory, okay? But basically, the caviar version from, uh, not caviar, okay? The, the embossed version from YSL is really, really tough. Like she works there. She she used to work there. And she said that yeah, it's really, really tough. They have a different name. They have a name for it. Something like. Oh, they call it um, GP something. Uh, GP what? Like GP grain uh, powder grain whatever direct translation that is. <laughs> what do you call it again? J Grandi grain de poudre. Ah, that's it's right. Like powder grain. That's like yes. direct translation in French. Yeah, that's right. So that's the apparently that's the leather, and it's really really it's like a tank. Uh, but she did share, like, you know, if you don't store it properly over time, it might get a little sticky. Mm. Um, so you might better to use the bag. Don't go and store it under the sunlight and um, or direct near direct sunlight. But otherwise, it's tough. And I mean, I have one, and it's really, really like it's, it's a tank. <laughs> Oop, here we go. Okay, Sorry, next I selected another clutch, but this one is a full size clutch. And what drew me to it, so obviously I chose uh, the same style, but in two different texture. One is kind of reminds us of the uh, pillow uh, pillow um, style, right? And then the other one is shielding again, quilted. Again, it just looks good. Very simple. Um, a tiny little logo on the back, so no one even sees it. So you just have to know the bag. You know the bag, you know the bag, you don't. It just If you don't, it just looks like a very... Kind of a very high fashion clutch, actually. Mm -hmm. it's something you would carry, kind of like how you know the Bottega big pouch, the big dumpling. If you know it, you know it, right? So it's sort of that vibe. It feels uh, when I saw it, it gives me. In fact, I kind of, um, I kind of like this more because it has a bit more structure. Yes, and yeah, it just looks so squishy and so nice looking. Like, and the price. Oh my gosh, I was so blown away with the price. The leather version is around 17 US dollars, 1700 US dollars. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. For all that, look at how nice and plush it is. It's really nice. When I saw mm -hmm. this, I was like, what? It's even cheap. It's like, wait a minute. It's it's like a the puffer bag just without the strap. Yeah. I was like, wait, that, that's not right. Can't be paying like a thousand dollars for the strap. <laughs> But it is. That's the thing. Even in Canadian, it's only twenty two hundred. Which honestly, for all that bag, like that's a lot of bag. That's a that's a large size Bottega Veneta pouch equivalent size. I don't know. I I mean, I haven't tried it in person. Obviously, we're judging from pictures. But um, based on just me having tried a few different bags from before from YSL in person, I know that their bags are great. They are. They are great. You just have to like it, right? I prefer this to the Bottega, 100%. Mm, just like what you said, the structure is such a... Uh, um, the unstructured look for the Bottega is, is a pro, but also in reality is not. Like so many people who I know have that bag... Um, not so many, okay. A couple of people that have had that bag and they reviewed it and they shared. They said that it's a high fashion. It looks good in pictures, but in reality, on a day-to-day -day basis, the flatness of it is really hard to like mm. <laughs> hold. Um, your things roll around inside. And actually, in reality, it doesn't look good. Because you have to fill it. You have to fill it. Mm -hmm. so, this definitely much better, much better. It's so squishy. I feel like I feel like reaching out and squishing the bag. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so uh, another clutch, but this is a little tinier version, but still very pillowy. And uh, yeah, just personal preference. You either like a big clutch, like a very statement clutch like we shown earlier, or just a small one. This one is so tiny that you can even hold by the top of the flap where the plush leather is. Um, very simple. As you can see, it, it's just one compartment, um, cute colors, little bit of logo and yeah, so inexpensive actually. It's under a thousand US dollars. Crazy. <laughs> it's cute. It's a, 
you know, I can imagine somebody designing something to add a chain to this bag, you know, they or could, maybe yeah. in the wallet, add a chain to this bag and it's a little crossbody bag. Uh, yeah, not, nothing much, you know, it's a cute little bag. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I I don't know if I'll wear it with an, like a, a chain all the time because I don't know how, because you know how the sides, they fold in even from That's true. Yeah, the envelope. So I don't know how well that will maintain. But I think if you're just having a bit of fun and you just want some sort of clutch, you want to like, a, you want to buy a proper clutch, but you don't want to spend tons of money on a clutch because how often do you actually use a clutch? in real life uh this is just a great fun option i feel yeah. and i'm sure the leather is this similar to your bag right yep it's the same lamb skin so it's a really nice clutch like mm -hmm. just luxurious yeah good choice this one okay so i mentioned the uptown bag earlier so this is the actual uptown pouch so this is in their small leather goods section but yet again, even on Matches Fashion, they are styling it uh, with the model holding it as if it was a clutch. So go wild. And the thing is, these prices, which the price has already gone up slightly, but still within the five, six hundred US dollar range, you can get a nice size pouch that can be um, that can totally be transformed into a clutch like a nighttime bag that nobody would ever think that oh you're using the wrong kind of bag nobody would ever even think that because it totally looks like a clutch um i think this is just a wonderful wonderful alternative to your proper date night um evening bag you know if you don't want to wear a a crossbody bag or you, if you don't want any straps dangling this is totally a great I mean, I owned it. <laughs> I owned it. I never used it because, oh my gosh, when was the last time we went out? But anyway, <laughs> you know, that's is, true. It's a beautiful bag. And I, I bought it for that reason. So <laughs> there's so many different options too. Do you have it in this uh, canvas with leather trim? You have it in their caviar in quotation marks. You have it in their emboss exotic skin, which is still calf skin, but the embossing is amazing there's so so much to choose from different colors and awesome price to be honest nothing beats this one i think yeah i i love the look like the whole if to me i don't know I maybe maybe it's ingrained in my head from from past like when when i look at a clutch when i think clutch there's only two types of clutches that come to mind one is this long thinnish like really envelope kind of clutch another type is Sort of the minodus, minodus. Oh yeah, it's minodus. more like um, you know, uh, more crystal like. So everything else, I know it's a clutch, you know, because you can hold it. But this is like truly a clutch, like longish, big, flat. Yeah. Yeah, it really looks like a clutch. But I will agree with this comment because Nat, she's saying that the um, uptown clutch, which. This is not even actually a clutch, it's a pouch. Let's let's all be reminded again that this is actually a small leather good. It's not even a clutch, but I think a lot of people buy it to use as a clutch because it looks like one. Um, however, mm. if you do use it as a clutch, do be reminded that it's still a very flat small leather good, right? So the moment you put too many bulgy things inside, yes, it will, it will distort it and... Um, as I said, in reality, this is still a small leather good, but if you can get away with your thinner small leather goods inside, your thinner lipsticks, you know, don't bring the, don't bring all your compact and everything and, and like bring your thinnest hand sanitizer, then it can work. It really yeah. can. Yeah. yeah, totally. Oh, I want to say thank you to Louise. I just saw it uh, as a new member. Yeah, thank you. And I think I see a super sticker as well. Oh, yes, from Marie. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. We appreciate it. Okay. Let me just continue. Oh, here we go. I thought <laughs> I was like, yes, I like this so much. This beauty. Again, it's the same print, same tweet print. 
But I think the cute part is the fact that you can wear it so many ways. Obviously, the crossbody way, but you can also adjust that little strap there and wear it just like the model as a little belt bag. And who doesn't like a cute little belt bag with the tassel? I mean, it's just so adorable. And again, the price, you cannot beat this kind of micro size bag. Um, if you want to get into a micro size trend, but you don't want to spend Chanel money, which Chris, both Kat and I have, <laughs> this is a great option. This is actually really cute. Like it's so cute. I, I might just want to buy it just to have it, but obviously, um, we gotta <laughs> put the brakes on spending too much more more money on micros bags because we already have enough. But it's just such a cute option. I mean, don't you agree? I love this. Like even before this tweet, I wanted to try and find this micro bag, this small one in the white. Mm, and yeah. it's sold out. Like sold out. Because it oh. is actually so cute. Like it's like this size. You can put your cards and I know I don't want to buy any more micro bags, but if I were to get any more micro bags, I would go YSL. Yeah. I feel yeah. like this is the kind of price range and also a cute style that you would want to experiment with colors. Like get your white micro bag or get your white bag in this kind of bag. Get your, I don't know, red if you normally don't wear red or you can't wear. I mean, you love the, the notion of red, but maybe you don't. You never end up reaching for it. This is sort of one way to experiment with colors or wild prints that you never normally go for, right? It's functionality, right? You can use it as a SLG with, and it's because it's larger. You know, it's that squarish shape. It becomes a catch-all lipstick, hand sanitizer, and you got a really nice catch-all. And one day, you say, okay, I'm going to turn it the bag again. Ta da! Yeah, the. Totally detachable strap is such a bonus. I think every <laughs> micro bag should be that way, then it would be so perfect. <laughs> oh my God, it's making me want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is uh, probably not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I thought it was cute. Again, it's a version <laughs> of a micro bag, except this will probably only carry your coins and your AirPods. Um, I, okay, there's this whole heart trend coming out, or it's mm. been out, but like it, it's really gonna be like out, especially this next season from Chanel. So this is just another option that you can consider. Um, like I said, this is totally a flex bag. Okay, you can't put much in it, but it's cute. It's just a cute little accessory. <laughs> this is like a hosh. You know which brand has this exact same design? Uh, Loewe, right? Loewe! Yeah. When I saw this, I was like, oh, okay, that's like a straight copy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit too inspired. <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's yeah, it is, but it's it's so cute. It's I, so cute. Again, I don't know if I ever even have a use for this. This is way too small, even for a micro bag lover like me. But it's I don't know, if point. you ever have to always carry some coins around for some reason, like, I don't know what work you do or <laughs> whatever, whatever that you need, maybe this would be a great, cute little accessory that also carries your coins. I don't know. What else can you put in here? I mean, uh, coins, uh, maybe you could put your key, not even your yeah. keys, your key, your car fob, you know, th yeah. and that's it, right? So, yeah. so I would imagine a person that carries this, okay, only carries their car key. Or maybe mm -hmm. just a car fob because we have like those cars which have, uh, you don't need a key, you know, it's sort of yeah, like, yeah, um, yeah. what's that thing, the fob? Mine is still a key, okay? Yeah, <laughs> mine is still a key as well. Uh, yeah, but let, you have those that are just electronic, right? It's all yeah. just based on the fob. And you have no house keys because your house, the locking system is your thumbprint. So no house keys. Or it's, yeah. a, it's a code for your house. So no keys. No, uh, just a car for your cash. Everything is in your phone. Your credit cards in your phone, um, on your Apple phone, Apple Watch, all of that. And yeah, maybe you just fold a couple of dollar bills and da da. Like I'm sure since they make this, and several brands have this kind of just like coin-looking bag. 
I'm sure there are people that use it for a reason, right? I just don't know what reason that is, but I'm sure there are people that need it, right? Yes. Anyway, it's just it just looks cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, okay. I've got a few totes. So we off course. We have to cover our luxies that say those bags are just way too small. We're gonna go the other side of the world. Big bags, so totes, right? And you don't want to. You don't want a never full. You don't want to go. Yeah, you don't have a, a for, for a la page. Of course, you don't want Chanel. Actually, YSL's totes have always been very popular. And look at the price point. Full leather tote, $1,600. That's, that's never full is how much today? Can anybody tell oh, me? Oh, it's too much. I think it's 2,900 right it's, now. Yeah, it's in the 2000s now. Even just for the regular monogram. This is so gorgeous. I love the fact that it's so simple. There is nothing except just a Saint Laurent. Uh, it comes with a pouch, helps you. I mean, what else can I say? It's a really nice, beautiful tote for traveling. It's definitely great for work. Nothing screams. There's no logo that's screaming at you. I love this. So great price for a full leather bag. Uh, 100% agree. I think we often get asked, well, not often, but like once in a while we'll get asked, oh, I want to buy a luxury tote for work. What do you recommend? The thing is, so many things come to mind, but for, for sure this one is one of the top choices. Yeah. I have a leather tote, which uh, full leather tote, not my Ferrari Le Pouch, but not from um, any really high-end brand, but it's an Australian designer brand, Oriton. Wow, leather bags can really take a beating. So I used that bag so much and I was like, okay, I'm done with it. But then I don't want to sort of like toss it away. So what I've done with it, I've sort of used it as my gym bag. So I'm using an Oriton luxury bag. You know, it's the price point for, it's still higher, right? As my gym bag. Oh my gosh, I have tossed that bag around. I have like pulled it over, stuffed it, everything. And the leather just sort of um, adjusts, <laughs> adjusts to my torture of that bag. So I can just imagine how much a full leather bag, it may look like, oh, can, you know, if you overstuff it, what will happen? Oh my gosh. Leather bags, they are really tough. Yeah. I, I would even think it's tougher than my, I don't know, I don't know whether it's tougher than my canvas bag. But I was kind of surprised. Uh, my Oriton leather bag, held up with overstuffing, stretching, dragging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with that bag, right? You don't know what to do with it anymore. So now it's like uh, my really bougie gym bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Another popular one is the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour. So this has been compared to the Birkin. It's compared to the now discontinued uh dior they had a tote i suddenly cannot recall the name do you remember the tote um uh, discontinued i'm trying to think oh my gosh i forgot anyway dior had a tote as well which is similar shape and people compared the one to the birkin as well but these were these sort of came out at the same time so the sac de jour the dior version and then obviously compared to the Birkin. But it, it, to me, it's it holds its own ground. It's so sleek looking. It comes with a strap, one up from the Birkin already. It's this baby size, super cute. Is this one? And if you, sorry? Dear Ever? Dear Ever? Yeah, I think it was called the Dear Ever. Do you remember that? This I think, continued. yeah, I, I think now I remember. <laughs> Discontinued, okay. So Dior does that, you know, you come out with bags and discontinue it. This set de jour is still around. It's obviously, somebody, I mean, people are liking this bag. Great for work. And if you're looking for an exotic look, their embossed leather for this is really, really nice. It looks even more expensive than the price. The, the only issue I've had with this bag, and I don't know if maybe I just haven't tried enough, um, but I think I remember just, 
you know, when you pass by a department store, then they display some. I think I remember just like grabbing one and holding it. And I thought, wow, it's pretty heavy, even though oh, it was that's true. empty. So that, that is one thing that I also picked that up. I had with this one. The weight, the weight. You're right, you're right. So even for the baby bag, I, you know, you're trying to use like good quality, sturdy leather. It did make the bag a bit more substantial in the weight. And it doesn't have much hardware. So compared to the Birkin, which the baby Birkin, I mean, the Birkin 25, I have to say this is still a slightly heavier bag than the Birkin. So I just feel like it's a more comfortable bag as a top handle bag, though the strap option makes it more, I guess, user friendly. Like you, you can actually use it if you need your hands free. Uh, but if you're looking for a baby Birkin, but you don't really want to go and buy the Birkin, I, I personally quite like this. Mm. I think it's because they really do use very durable leather for this bag. Because that was my impression, my first impression when I picked it up. I'm like, wow, the leather feels very sturdy. But obviously with the sturdier leather, and it's a tough leather, um, like it's a tough calfskin, whatever they use. It, it, Yeah, it definitely made it heavy without even having anything in it, uh, except maybe some, you know, paper, tissue paper inside. Um, but yeah, I think style-wise, you can't go wrong, right? It's just classic. Yeah. Totes. Just classic, yeah. good looking, tote, like a yeah. tote bag. Okay, so I'm going to go and show sort of like more mm, everyday fun little bag. So this is one that was very popular. When it first came out, I think I saw so many. I, I didn't see many YouTube videos, but I saw so many IG pictures of people bringing this bag for traveling and for, you know, going to the beach. This is, how do you pronounce this? Rev Gosh. Oh, Gosh. Reef Gauche cotton canvas tote bag. Huge bag. Gives me the Dior book tote vibes. I believe this came out after the B Dior book tote. Yeah, so it's a really big tote. I tried it in store and it's definitely a bag for traveling or at least if you have big documents to carry for work. It's, it's for that. The only thing similar, I guess they're totes, maybe they use different kind of materials to make it more sturdy. It's a little bit more heavier than the book tote. So even on its own without everything, uh, it's got a bit of weight. But with that weight, it means that maybe this bag is made more tough so it can handle the weight. I don't know. Maybe that's the feeling I get from carrying something a little bit heavier. Yeah, I think it depends what you're looking for because some people like their luxury items to feel very heavy. Then they feel the, the, the quality. I think for me, it's a mix of it has to have the weight, but not so much. <laughs> for me, yeah, for me, I have to like kind of be balanced a bit more. But yeah, this one um, it strikes me as one of those that, you know, it's like you're getting a lot of quality. In you're it. getting a lot of it, you know, it's padded. <laughs> you better have a ton of muscles. <laughs> but if you're um, looking for something, an alternative to the book tote, there is yeah. one for you, right, at uh, the uh, St. Laurent. Yeah. Only thing is, I will add to this is that uh, I remember watching someone saying that this bag, uh, one problem that they had with it is that this one tends to be um, like the structure is more closed, whereas the book tote is always open, right? Mm. So this one it tends to sort of you have to fill it. Otherwise, it'll, it'll want to kind of close on you. So that's the only thing that you might want to keep in mind. So keep oh, in mind whether that, that is something that will bother you or not. Yeah. Interesting. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Sort of like flow, f folding inwards. Yeah. It just fold. Yeah. Folds inwards. A little bit like, I guess, like the Chanel Deville, right? Because if you don't put things in it, uh, it will sort of collapse in. But I think this is more rigid than the Chanel Deville because Deville is, it can be floppy <laughs> if you just, yeah. if you like, just yeah. open it, it will stay open. This one, I don't think it will stay open unless you fill it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I I, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. This. I love this. I don't know what it is about this Rafia bag, but I love the edgy, very 
a BDSM look of this <laughs> raffia bag compared to just a basic raffia bag. There is something about the whole leather straps that goes around the whole bag and makes it look so different from any other fashion house that has done this bag. I, I mean, the price definitely shows, but I love this. It's I soon. think you like the gladiator feel. Yeah. <laughs> you yes, know how the gladiator feel, feel, right? It's like it wraps around your ankle all the yeah. way up. <laughs> edgy different uh, you look and i love the fact that the straps are longer so you see the way she's holding it you know because sometimes if the strap is long but not long enough it's not comfortable to rest at your forearm and grab but because she can do this it just i don't i just love to do this when i have kind of totes sturdier it's more comfortable oh my gosh i actually really like this if i'm looking for a raffia bag this is the one i'll go for <laughs> Gladiator BDSM. Oh, don't we all wish that we just live by some sort of nice, calm beach that every day we could just bring our raffia tote and <laughs> have our picnic in front of the beach or something? I don't know. It would be so <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> oh. I think this is more um, more user friendly for your kind of weather. You know, just tropical. Whereas here, like uh. It's kind of the wrong vibe in the middle of winter with snowstorm yeah, <laughs> carrying this. Like you psycho, you we carry a rocket you bag in winter. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Something that's not so uh, gladiator dominatrix, like I saw somebody's comment. <laughs> Something more. Ah, here's another one. Crochet. <laughs> <laughs> the others were crocheting now. And this is coming soon. This is the, well, the couple of colors, um, you know, raffia crochet basket bag. This again, longer strap, bobbly. You could hold it under your, you know, forearm. Um, I, don't know, I mean, nice crochet bag. If you're looking for one, like personally, I would, I would go for the gladiator one. I think that's more unique because <laughs> this to me looks like something that I can get from a uh, farmer's Pro market. Yeah. <laughs> But well made, okay. Well made yeah, with the YSL yeah. logo. If you oh, are no, I meant to wear this to a farmer's market. Oh, oh, I thought you can get it. You probably can get it from a farmer's market as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we see a lot of this in Malaysia, like handicraft. But you know, if you're looking for a bougie version, Saint Laurent's got it for you. Okay, this it's actually <laughs> really nice. I, I think it's really pretty. Uh, the size, the basket size. Um, but if I had to pick, I would go for the Gladiator Dominatrix version. <laughs> what do you think? What else do you think? I like about both. This? I think this one, what I like is that the, the logo kind of blends in into the bag. Mm. So there's That's still right. the logo. You know it's Lux, but it blends in and it's sort of subtle that way. And I like it that way. Uh, I like both. I honestly like both. Uh, again, I just need the environment to match. Yeah, you need that. We, 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 shall do, we shall do this again in spring and summer. And you'll be like, oh, I do need a raffia bag. <laughs> True. Spring and summer. Grab this. All right, SLGs. Yeah, there's just a few that we picked. Um, we talked about wallets, the feng shui wallet. We had a mm -hmm. whole episode dedicated to the colors, the shape that you want to choose from. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. But this would be a great option, black, long, uh, like long shape, right? So you don't have to fold your bills, several compartments. So you have organization. It's just black and gold. So one of the best colors, solid colors. And what can I say? This, this wallet just looks attractive. And the price is great because, I mean... Chanel wallets are not the most expensive, but it can get expensive depending on which model you choose. It's just that they're never available. <laughs> Trust me, I tried. I tried looking after our after after all. Really? Of I tried. I asked. I asked about wallets at my store. They didn't have any. The all the ones they had were like humongous, like huge, like oh. this. And it's zip around. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't want this. I want just the long one, but you know, not too big simple flap opening didn't have any it's so hard to buy anything now 
But yes, I I I was when I was looking as well, I also saw this. That's why I got the sing dollar there. I was like, oh my gosh, we both picked the same one. I like this, you know, great. Feng Sui wallet, black, long, everything we need to bring in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. So if you're not in the market for a wallet, but you still want like a solid card holder, this is a great option too. So especially if you like the ones with several card um, card slots and a little zipper slot for your coins, I think this is just um, functional and actually, quite frankly, very cheap. Like price wise, it's very cheap, but it's well made. It's nice. You have several different uh, designs to choose from. Small logo, big logo, no logo. So I love this. So I, I actually gave away one, um, which thanks to a wonderful subscriber was sponsored. And, you know, in my head, I'm kind of thinking maybe I want one for myself as well. <laughs> if I don't need one now, but when I'm when I need a card holder, this is the one that I'm going to go for. And I mm. love the color that I picked. It was this green army. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. So yeah, I, I I have one right now, like not branded, Kate Spade. I always talk about my little Kate Spade wallet, which come to think of it, I should have bought an extra one because it has all the compartments that you need for a card holder. Cards, you can put your cash, you can slip, there's a zip for your coins. There's even a, there's even a, a keychain inside. You can put your um, mm -hmm. keys. So it was such a great design. I have no idea why Kate Spade. Okay, Kate Spade, if you're watching, why did you discontinue that design? <laughs> such a good size. But never mind. We have YSL to help us. <laughs> Something similar. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pick. I think this is the last one. And this is the one that I'm actually considering. Because thanks to our Feng Sui, I decided that I don't want to be folding my bills anymore in my little tiny Calvi duo, I need something that, even though it's a fold, but it's not like folded and, mm. you know, squished at the corner of how I'm putting my cash right now. At least this has its own space in the wallet, small enough for my mini bags. And he has all the compartments. I actually really like this. I need to go and see it in store. I haven't had time. Yeah, I, honestly, the prices are so reasonable for YSL small leather goods, and they look really well made. Yeah. That is the thing; they look very attractive, like very attractive from the point of view of just like the the texture of the leather, the logos, the placement, and just the very. It just it looks simple enough, but it looks functional enough, uh, given how simple it looks. So, and if you're looking for love. Pink is the color to go for. <laughs> <laughs> we learned a lot, right? There are folks pink is the color yeah. go. Just don't buy blue. Don't buy red. Uh, go for black. Go for brown. Uh, but make sure your wallet is always in great condition. New is best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. We reached the end. We told you we had so much eye candy. So we're going to go into the chat right now. If you have any questions, please remember, put a bunch of it. I'm going to go back out. <laughs> so good. I hope you well, we hope so you guys well, enjoyed that. This, right? I'm, this comment. I'm going through the YSL site now. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's shopping on <laughs> let us know if you enjoy this. We can definitely do another brand. I'm kind of thinking um Celine. What do you guys think? Celine mm. has been like we could do Celine if you want that. We could do that maybe next week if you're interested. Comment below. Let me just go all the way up. Oh my gosh. Especially so Celine comments. has a lot of new uh, a lot great new stuff and not just not just bags and small leather obviously um the, the ready to wear all the accessories. Yeah, so absolutely. very trendy but in a good way. Okay, so it's a question from Joe Overjoyed. Some YSL bags have a large metal YSL logo like the Lulu series and others have a tiny inscription like the Sac de Jour. Which do you prefer? Why do you think YSL is not more popular? Oh, which do I prefer? Good question. Hmm. I think for me, it depends on what it is. Again. True. Yeah. No, but in general, like, this, this is, don't even talk, just like, what... In general, I think I like the plaque, the logo plaque. Same. 
Yeah. Same. I think that's something that I prefer. But of course, if the design suits the just the inscription, then it'll go. But generally, when I see the full like YSL, I just kind of like it. It's yeah, it's the whole wording. I don't know. Yeah. So I think mm -hmm. I like the, I prefer the logo as well. Why do you think YSL is not more popular? I have some thoughts. It's you'll probably have the same first. thoughts. We should drink water. We should drink water. <laughs> yes, I have water too. Um, Two but liters. I of I think is because it it is not holding the same type of value as your your Chanel's, your LVs, and your Hermes, and hence it's not as popular. But I think it's still popular. It's just that maybe less people talk about it. I think it's still popular from the point of view of a lot of people do buy by sell for just using. Mm. They just use their bags, right? But not not that many people talk about it because aside from if you can't talk about resell, like not resell, but you can if you can't talk about the fact that they retain value, then then what else is there to talk about, right? Aside from the fact that they it's a cute style, which is what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, but how many and how much and how often can you do of that? Um, and maybe the other issue that I see is that, yes, we've picked a lot of the cute designs that we like. But is there really, I mean, there are, there are definitely some, but I feel like they don't have a big solid core of classics that I feel really Stands the test of time. Like we're talking about, you know, like history back back in history. Like I feel like, oh yeah, the Lulu is very popular. The puffer is popular. Um, sag de jour, but is it has it always been? And I I don't know. Mm. Right. Yeah, totally agree with you. And I think uh, what you said about and I what you said about um, it's bags that people just use you know just mm -hmm. they just really just use and use and abuse okay i'm gonna use the word use and abuse uh even though it's a luxury brand but i think with the mindset is when you buy something like a chanel it's so much money that you have you actually have a future hope for the bag you kind of feel like oh i'm gonna pass this down to my child you know i'm gonna sell it in 10 years and make money you know you have that kind of almost you're forecasting that bag, even yeah. with LV, right? Because you know you buy certain things, you have that possibility that you may want to turn it around. But with, I feel like with YSL, you kind of buy it and then you're like, I know it's not so good the resale value, but I'm going to use this bag. And it turns out to be the best bag for you. So that's kind of feeling that I had with my YSL. Like I knew in my head, I'm going to use and abuse this bag. I'm just going to use yeah. it. Not that I don't treasure it, but... I just feel a little bit more um, financially comfortable mm -hmm. to abuse this bag if I were compared to abusing my Chanel bags because I have hopes and dreams for that bag in the future. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I mean, as 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 silly as it sounds, but it, it really is true. Like, I have plans for my bags. I want them to stay forever in good condition because yeah, when I'm like 70, said, okay, I'll be like, <laughs> <that would> be <laughs> to pass down to someone that I yeah. cherish or, or that I know that eventually I can get my money back and get something else from it. True. True. It, it totally is. Our, those are legit reasons. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I, and maybe with that, let's even not talk about why I said, even for like for Dior, the, the only bag that I can sort of foresee myself, like, passing down quote unquote, is the lady dior because it has that history everything else that they have created to date it goes in and out i don't even know what a carol bag is like oh new one okay forget it bobby bag okay you know it doesn't hold that um time it doesn't hold that factor of time so i kind of feel like ysl is not as popular it's popular but it's sort of like the kind of Gucci popular. It's really popular. I mean, YSL is really popular. Just, just because we don't see it on social media doesn't mean it's not. It is. But because like these two brands, they don't have that core collection. It's core because we talk about it. Like, oh yeah, you know, we see a lot of people having the sac de jour. But 
it doesn't there's nothing in those two brands like i feel like gucci also is the same like marmon is like the most popular of all <laughs> but it's only been around for what 10 years not even 10 years seven years six years yeah well gucci gucci though i do um gucci it's something else though it's something about their but the aesthetic is different constantly though. changing and very statement aesthetic yeah <laughs> And also YSL is also that kind of statement aesthetic. Yeah. So they have a very set aesthetic. Grungy, darker, very like, you know, it's like the, it's like the moody luxury. <laughs> it's like the moody designer that decided like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Gucci is about oh, all over a place. But yeah, just, uh, they're popular. But I think there's so many factors that just don't make them as popular as the main ones. Good question. Thank you. Let me just find more. Um, okay. Erica is asking, I heard YSL smooth leather does not wear well. What does everyone think? Hmm. I don't know. My couple back so <laughs> far is okay. So far, okay. Uh, but it is smooth and it is lambskin and I've nicked it around a bit. So the corners are a bit like... Mm. But with every any bag that has smooth leather, it's just a little bit more high maintenance. Even Chanel, right? Mm -hmm. Even Chanel. I, and I wonder again, coming back to the point where people use their YSL bag, is it because because is it because they use it more, right? They mm -hmm. baby it less. They're less carefree about about their YSLs rather than their Chanels and Hermes, maybe um and hence it doesn't appear like it wears well but in fact it does because you've been abusing <laughs> yeah abusing the bag right? actually yeah true true so i i really do use my puffer i squish it you know it's rubbing and i'm not as you know, i have to say not as careful um yeah it's well it's worn rather well for that uh yeah louis look at me member woohoo thank you thank you <laughs> Vivi, I think S Sense also offers good prices of YSL bags. Better than YSL mm. official website since YSL has also increased their prices recently. Yes, that is very So S Sense is actually a Montreal company. And oh. I know if you are uh, buying from overseas, then they probably don't have to charge you the taxes here. But if you're buying from within like if you're Canadian, you're buying from there, then yeah, of course you have to pay your your local taxes. So maybe that is one reason why uh, their prices are better too. But when I buy from them, I have to pay taxes because they're a Canadian company. Oh, yeah. Ouch. Whereas when I buy from Matches Fashion, everything is included, and it's quite awesome actually. Okay, that's why. That's, that's um, that's that's why I, I think be, uh, different people, depending on where you live, have different experiences with different shopping sites. It really depends on how it works for your country, too. Mm. But yeah, well, Essence like is great, too. They have, they also have a good selection of a lot of different uh, brands that I like as well. Yeah, I, I, I have, I basically have my favorite brands from different sites. Mm. Yeah. Like for matches, I really like their uh, the buyer that chooses their Balmain, their self portrait. YSL is a great uh, like they just. I mean, we just saw how great the choices were, right? Mm. With Farfetch, I like buying all the other like clothing accessory brands. They have so much, yeah. and I get a little lost in Farfetch when I can find it, and then I'll go to Essence because for me, right. it actually costs more to buy from Essence. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Nadine, hello. I bought a YSL mini camera bag. And since I own Chanel and Hermes, I don't reach for it. And I gave the bag to my sister. I can't go back in brands because I worked so hard mm. to get Hermes and Chanel. I have to say, I agree with you, which is why I'm a luck snob. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was going to say, too, I, I totally understand why and where it comes from. I yeah. am totally a snob as well. Like, you can't. 
I I know I know when I revealed my Prada bag, people are like, oh, it's not Chanel, which is exciting. It's actually very exciting. exciting. But I will say, uh, I I will say, yeah, it's a nice, it's such a nice bag. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, I I really think that it's a fun bag, and it's honestly mm -hmm. a great uh great price for something different. But I will say that nothing will ever just like take me away from my Chanel. So I will yeah. always prefer my Chanel still. True, but this is true. a fun addition, something so different that Chanel doesn't even have, which is why I think it was fun to add it to. Because your 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 first your main love is Chanel, so it has to be at least that. Yeah, like for me, I'm okay with every Lux brand. Like you know, I I buy Bottega, I buy LV and all, but I'm sorry, I'm it's really I'm trying to be as open minded as I can, but I totally understand Nadine. When it comes to contemporary brands, <laughs> mm. I find it really hard to spend my money on it now because mm. I know I would rather uh, carry my Bottega than to carry, say, I'm going to just say it, San Riff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But if it, I want to buy those brands, mm. it's because I need a, I need a bag <laughs> it's like that <laughs> but i also feel like the fact that you've invested exactly so much in buying that very yeah. beloved uh you know whether it's bottega hermes or chanel that you want to put the mileage on it and we when we talk mileage we don't mean by we're, we're gonna like put wear and tear on it no not like that it's just the more opportunity you have to carry it, whether it's just to take it, I don't know, out to like a grocery like shopping a dinner or like a quick outing, like doesn't matter. As long as you have more times to wear it, it feels like you're getting more worth, it, more of your money's worth, right? So I totally. think that's where it comes from too. Totally. I just added, for me, it's like going from a Tesla back to a Tokyo. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh no you know what we're all in this community we know we i mean it's not there's no shade to the bag it's really a very personal yeah. thing yeah it's no shade i i know that the bags they have great bags i have been to like okay let's talk about Saturday. i've been to this store there's some bags that i obviously cannot like any other brand there's some bags in chanel i just totally like what the heck is that same as sanre it's totally like wow what is that and it's wow that's really good <laughs> But would I put my money in that when I've already spent all my money on this? And you know, how many times do we go out, right? Unless you go out every Not single many. day and you change your bags two, three times a day, it's impossible. I would use a bag as much as I can. If I'm going to use my Bottega, please don't ask me to use any other bag. <laughs> I got no time to use everything else. <laughs> exactly. Um, another good example, not as expensive as a Tesla, is my Dyson. My Dyson for hair. I can't oh. go back to my regular hair dryer Sorry. or curler. No. You I got the Ferraris that. of hair dryers. Are you kidding me? You're going to go back to that. <laughs> no. ah, I can't. It's too noisy and it makes everything frizzy. No. <laughs> and your the head Dyson is, is noisy and it's in a, in a good way. You're yeah. kind of used to the good way of the noisiness. <laughs> it's like, okay, on top of that, it's like going, it's like going back to the wired, yeah vacuum cleaners <laughs> and you gotta drag along drag around the body and every time you go to the place where the wires now you gotta plug it <laughs> from that from that you go to the dyson and you go back to that no sorry no kill me yeah, now kill can't. me now <laughs> <laughs> you just can't <laughs> <laughs> so bags are you know in that kind of probably that kind of range okay vivi actually i did see some i didn't pull it up what do you guys think of the recent YSL monogram line? Frankly, I do not like it. They could have done we didn't choose better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't that much better, in my opinion. Yeah, I think I saw it, but I think you're right. I didn't pick it because it just... It didn't really uh, strike my fancy. Uh, I think Canvas, there are just a select number of brands that does it really well that we all still love to this day. And for sure, well, for sure, LV, the Gucci also. Mm. Um, 
Well, Goyard and Farilla Park. Huh? Goyard and Farilla Park. Yeah, I guess those ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're not accessible here. Not for me, anyway. I can't buy those brands here. Um... Yeah, Celine's canvas so, is not bad. They change it all the time. But yeah, I will say they're they're I do not mind their canvas. The look mm. of it anyway. Mm. But okay. to be honest, other than those two big two, there's really not that many that remains memorable, in my opinion. Ah, uh, Fendi is okay, actually. The Fendi um Fendi is canvas? Let me think. Uh, not canvas, but you know they do have the monogram logo, the F. Oh logo. yeah, 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 yeah. The Fendi logo. Yeah, that's not too bad. I don't. I yeah. YSL one wasn't quite memorable. Like I remember yeah, seeing something, but it was like I don't know what it was. It's just, it's just kind of, I don't know. Trying too hard. I don't know. Here, I sh- I'll share how it looks like okay, in case you guys don't know which one are we talking about. Maybe um, YSL wanted to do Y shape, but they couldn't because Goyard has taken it already. Mm, yeah, it just looks a bit boring. Uh, right? Oh, it's yeah, like, no, it looks like ants. It's like, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, no, it looks like ants. I'm sorry. Exactly. It looks <laughs> like really weird, right? It looks like ants with the antennas of the Y and then like the, bo- <laughs> the body. Okay, no. Yeah, I just I, I think I would just stick to their leathers. They're either their smooth leather, their caviar leather, or their embossed leather. I mean, this yeah, I is just mm, I don't know. Yeah, I think because they use the whole alphabet, like their whole three alphabets yeah. by itself, which is yeah. a mistake. <laughs> Sorry, it's a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Nat, weird to say, but I think LV Monogram phone holder with strap is quite a good price for carrying bare minimum, like the LV key pouch, mask key, car keys, hand sanitizer, phone usually in my pocket. It's not weird at all, actually. Yeah. I think think phone holders are pretty awesome. Um, I think I remember the LV version because I think someone un- unboxed it and I was like, oh, and I even looked it up. But I think they ha- don't they have a few now? Uh, phone holders. I'm going to just look it up quickly because I'm pretty sure I remember. <laughs> Another comment. Whoa, from the hat, you know, Oriton. <laughs> I I have a lot of Oriton um, shoes and uh, what, but uh, I decided to try out one of their totes. Because the store in Malaysia was closing. I think they were closing down. Um, and they had 50% off the totes. And I was looking for a leather tote. And I did use it for a while. I was using it until I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I got. I need to carry my foray lapage. So I ended up with this. It was only a couple of hundred ringgit. Not even dollars. Okay, ringgit. Maybe three or four hundred ringgit. Great price. And oh man, that bag is a tank <laughs> with the gym stuff that I put inside. So yeah, Orison is great. From Australia, I used to be. I used to live in Australia for a little bit. For the love of bags. Okay, you gonna pull up something? Uh, I th- is it this one? Because I I feel like this is one of them. There could be other ones maybe, but I I found this one is kind of cute. Still loading though. Is it this one? Oh yeah, that's cute. Foamy pouch. Yeah, so it it basically looks like a little bucket bag, but for your phone, and easy access, good size, well, detachable sure strap. You can use the strap phone. elsewhere, and you could use um like a smaller strap for me to be a mm-hmm. little cute top handle. Or bag. it's already pre patinaed. Has a little logo, and um, it's a wait. Yeah, yeah, that's Canadian price. Canadian price, so it's really good price for nowadays, you know, LV. Mini Bushet is 950 <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this is cute. Uh, I'm sure this is just one of them. I think I saw another one. There's another one maybe that's in the men's section. It has a zipper, I think, also. But this is the one that I found for the ladies' version. Nice. Okay, for the love of bags... I think YSL makes beautiful bags and the quality is so good. The only reason I don't add any is I'm afraid I'll always pass them up, 
pass it up and pick up my Chanel or MS. Do you ladies feel the same? Yep. So we totally expressed it just now. It's great. I, I, I feel like once you have a collection of bags, like most of us here would have gone through different bags or you have sort of, you know, redesigned your collection over the years, you sort of settle into a few brands that you enjoy. So to really add in more brands, that's when it's a question of, is it worth it? Because you have your other bags. But if you're starting out your collection or you're looking for something different, I think that's where we're coming from. You know, there are so many more alternatives out there. You don't have to go straight to the Chanel's or the Hermes's. If that's not your cup of tea, right? It's, it, it's not everyone needs to buy the Chanel. But if you already got it, I can understand. We, we can appreciate the fact that we, we will pick those up first. I like that our Luxies understand us. <laughs> it's like they're yeah. already saying Thank what we gosh. feel. So we don't have to be the ones that are like... Not us. <laughs> it's not us, it's you. <laughs> it's like we don't need to explain it. You guys get it already. <laughs> uh, I think I, I can't find a comment, but congrats to Eileen. I, I saw it was going uh, like those chatter. Um, You got your... I think it was the Constance... Yeah, you yeah, just got that cost. too. Oh, congratulations. Okay, Nat. What do you think of the double Becky double zip pouch? Does anybody own this? And what do you think of it? I've only seen Jerusha's unboxing and she seems to love it. The Becky double zip pouch. Okay, Amy will go and look for it. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. As I pull other comments. Oh, I remember now. It's sort of like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched her video. So it's pull it up. It's sort of like, like, okay, let me just load the page. It's basically the Chanel version of the phone bag that is vertical. And then there's a space in between. There's a zip two zipper compartment. And the space in between is for your phone. It's, it's Chanel oh! has the exact same thing. So let me oh, share. Oh, yeah, I think screen. I did watch it. It looks a little bit like the YSL camera bag, except it's not a fully zip. It's no, like it's two zips. YSL one. Yeah. But Chanel has the same. Chanel actually, I think Chanel made it first, or I don't know. I I remember the Chanel version because uh, I I was shopping with my friend who was buying this. So it's like the middle is 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 um is a slot where Hello. you can put your phone. So your your phone is always accessible. And then two the two zip compartments on the side are for anything else, your cards, um, your lip balm, whatever that you want to put. It's very functional as the the, the design itself is not new. Um, Chanel has the exact same thing. And I'm pretty sure it was before YSL did it, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I like it. I it's it's amazing this one actually, mm. and the price is really reasonable. It's just a phone bag, but it's not vertical; it's horizontal, and it it actually is easier than the vertical phone bags because your phone is always accessible. It's right in the middle, right? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I I, I if I was looking for one, I would. Um, I think when I saw the Chanel version. The gap in the middle kind of bugs me. Though I know it's supposed to be convenient. But I don't know. I just have this feeling that things will drop out or some I'll get pickpocketed. No, but it's just for your phone though. Yeah, it's what you feel. It's like instead are. of you holding it on your hands, you know that it's just right in between the two compartments. It I don't think it will drop that easily unless you're constantly <laughs> you're constantly flipping your bag. Maybe, yeah. Well, we'll just wait for Jerusha's review of this. No, I'm, uh, Amy has a review because uh, she, oh. she, the other Amy, my friend Amy Jo, she, she's the one who bought the Chanel version. Um, right. Okay. I'll check and the thing is, like, when you put stuff in the front and the back compartment, because you would put other things, right? Your keys, your lip balm, your uh, cards, or whatever. It stuffs the two compartments. So basically, your be middle compartment be becomes more slimmer squish so when your phone goes in there it doesn't come out that easily oh okay, okay. i just feel like i thought it would be like you know like like no no it doesn't oh, just fall that's out okay. like, that's okay well unless you don't put anything in the two zip compartment then yes but it also depends on the size of your phone some phones have a bigger case then it'll actually take up more space in the middle 
it will mm -hmm. actually like push out the two side side compartments. So it really just depends, right? It's so. really it's a very functional piece, actually. It I I know because I I was looking at at the same item, like I was looking at it. I was shopping with my friend for her, mm -hmm. for her, yeah. So yeah, it's this one, and it's uh how much is it? Uh, let me see. It's not expensive. Yeah. Just around 16, 1700 Canadian plus tax. So under 2000. Yeah, why sales prices are really just like, yeah. I mean, there are some things really expensive, awesome. but at the same time, some things are like, wow. Because, you know, in the benchmark has gone up like Chanel, right? It's like, well, you know, Chanel, it's gone up like the Bottegas, the LVs, you know, it's all two, threes, you know, starting at, and you can hear like one, you're like, something's not right. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's un that's unfortunate because I think I remember when this bag came out from Chanel, it was around under two thousand as well, maybe like nineteen hundred eighty. It was right under two thousand. It was a good price when it first came out. Now I don't know, and actually I don't even see it that often anymore. Don't even see it. But when it comes out again, it's going to be three. Yeah, late probably. Threes. Yeah, probably with taxes, it would be. This is for you, oh, yeah. Nadine, Amy. So, what YSL will you actually buy this year? <laughs> <laughs> or do you, or you don't see yourself buying, but just appreciate because you're a Chanel fan? Uh, I think I will more be like sideline, like I'll appreciate on others. Mm, what I might actually buy, I, I might be open to their small leather good, like the wallets. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't need card holders, card holders, but like an actual wallet, since we were just looking at wallets, that might be something I could explore. Yeah, I agree with you. I won't go for, I want to say, I, I'm not going to hold myself to the words, but because I do like their bags, but if I were to buy something, it will, I think the SLG is just, the price point is good. You know, the quality is good. If you're going to use, and SLGs, you're going to use it, right? You're going to handle it so much. It just pains to buy something very, very expensive. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, because I wanted to buy a Chanel wallet. They just don't have it. I can't even buy it. So mm -hmm. unless I keep waiting for whenever they get new ones. And if I like it, like I might not like it too. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a comment from Chris. I think resale value high or low depends on whether the supply is more than demand. As the price point for YSL is not that high, consumers will buy from boutique instead. It's true, actually. Like, if the price point is, say, if I buy from Matches Fashion, is, say, $100 or $200 cheaper, I would feel a little bit more comfortable to buy from the boutique because I get the aftercare. You know, I can just go there if I have any issues with Matches or, you know, maybe online stores. Sort of can handle that, you know, can send it back. And that could add up to the, you know, uh, indirect costs. Like you don't even know, right? Who's going to help me in three months later or six months later if I need a, need help? So yeah, I, I think a lot of people still buy from boutique, which is why every time I go to Ion and I want to go into the YSL and just take a look, there is a line. It's like 10 people every time. Like, dudes, what's in the, what's in the shop? <laughs> I agree with Chris only because I know you live in Singapore. Um, but to this comment, I will add that it depends on how accessible that brand is. So here True. we don't have an actual YSL store, but we do have YSL in the department store. So it's very limited, actually, mm -hmm. the, the selection. So someone like me, I, I might actually end up buying from Mattress Fashion more often than than you think for, for even YSL because they they actually have more stuff and it's available and it's probably cheaper. So it depends where. But I think for like anybody in Hong Kong, Singapore, I mean, you walk into the store, it's huge. You get the customer service. I get it. I get it. I would want to buy from the store too. Yeah. Yeah. I. So when I did that, just yesterday, I did a video with that smoky glow. Because the way, at towards the end, uh, she was saying that, oh my gosh, she tried a Birkin. And it's like, the way she shared about it, it's, she's, it's, uh, 
I was saying sort of like um, never see before, right? Or you never chance to see before. And just watching her, I felt like I had a moment like, actually, it's true. No, I I mean, we are so fortunate, right? Those that we, people here, okay, if you're in Singapore or you're even in Malaysia, you really, we are really, truly very fortunate from a luxury perspective because dang, there's luxury shops everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. It's so accessible. I, I've seen, I've seen like Birkins, Kelly's bags that I've never seen before in resellers at Ion or, you know, Somerset, they're just, it's displayed rack to rack. <laughs> and you can just walk in and say, I want to try that Constance Exotic 18. <laughs> you can definitely do it. No problem. Because you just have to be brave enough to walk in. But otherwise, uh, every, actually, I think every single luxury brand is available in Singapore. Malaysia maybe has a little bit less, but, you know, really they have a lot. You go to Pavilion, so much. So it really dawned upon me that how fortunate we are, fortunate and unfortunate, because you're going to spend money, right? But fortunate, if you are looking for something, it's it's visible. You know, you can touch and you can feel it. You can see, you can go to the actual store. So yeah, yeah. it's um, it, But it's not the case here. Yeah, true. That is, I think that is the difference where like, I how I, these online I, thrive yeah like, that's why i shop online a, a lot um but also because um yeah like even even the birkins and the kelly's i don't notice them that much unless i'm at elmes mm. or uh maybe a couple times i noticed them at a cafe but that cafe is the cafe that i went with uh clara it's it's a luxury store luxury department store cafe so obviously the bougie people are gonna hang out there so like that's where i see it otherwise i don't see it ever mm. i don't see luxury bags that often not 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 like everywhere only very pocket areas and even like luxury stores we don't have that many that are just the flagship we might still carry the some of the brands but they are in a department store so it's not like you have all the selection and that, that is also why it took me forever to buy my Prada bag because we never have it in mm. stock, ever. It's never, ever even on the floor, never on display. You cannot even see it. I bought the bag without seeing it again. I walked in, and she's like, oh, we got two at the back, and you want to see the white one? And I'm like, <laughs> no, that, that doesn't really have to get. It's not like that. It's all over the place. It's, all over, it's everywhere. And actually, another place is not only seeing Hong Kong. Mm, okay, yeah. Hong Kong is is the up is the up of it's like you walk down it's like shops shops Hermes here four or five of them everywhere and I think there are like four H stores in Hong Kong yeah four or five or something like that it's like a lot <laughs> it just goes to show yeah the uh, I mean they might still be further apart but it's still within Hong Kong you don't have Hong to travel Kong. to another province to get there <laughs> something you know <laughs> yeah i no, you don't I have to you. fly six hours or uh, well even at least like two hours just to another province to get access to another store right yeah so some because it, we're here you know like and it's, it's just sometimes you after a while you kind of like take it for granted so after watching that you know smoky glow i was like i had a, i just i was like yeah that's actually true you know not because i see it everywhere <laughs> Even before I even had the bag, it's like I'm staring at those bags, you know, anytime, any weekend if I wanted to go out. But for most people, it's really an elusive bag. You see it online, you see it in pictures, but you never actually see it in reality. And I think that is why so many people have different opinions and frustrations because what they experience is so different from someone else's experience, right? their accessibility or even just the fact that they can even try it yeah it, it is a huge deal and and versus not being able to do that and just kind of blindly deciding what you want mm -hmm. it is very it makes it much harder True. in a, in both have pros and cons obviously but i think that is why we can't just make one opinion and it applies to everybody it doesn't true 
Because we have access to different things and That's even true. the stock is different everywhere. Um, the spending the patterns are Canada different sucks. everywhere. The competition <laughs> is different everywhere. So true. And, you know, I, I, can, I can totally appreciate it, even though it's not like luxury, luxury, really expensive. But for me, it was like, I've never seen it. I've never tried it. The golden... Uh, Golden Goose, Golden Goose shoes, uh, shoes, yeah. Right, I bought that almost like a blind buy. You know, I kind of like I had to look at reviews online and sort of figure out. Oh my gosh, in my foot at thirty seven point five, and it's a lot of money, right? So I just said, okay, I'm gonna buy it online because we didn't have, which I was actually we did. I just didn't know. It's apparently in Singapore. There's one store, but it's a bit like far and secluded. I was like, okay, never mind. We're going to try our luck and we're going to buy it online. And that for me was, it was, um, even though it wasn't a lot of money, but still it was that feeling. So now amplified it 10 times. You are buying like a bag and you've never seen it. Wow. The stress level will be up here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I think that is why uh, when I was describing, like I bought Gentle Monsters recently, when I was mm. describing the fact that I looked up on, on on YouTube all the different videos of all the different styles on people and their face shape, and I tried to like yeah. compare in my head. if it, It's because we don't have a store that sells them, that's so right, I can't really right. know which one fits me until I, I do a bit of research, right? So you just need to <laughs> you kind of do your best. A judging based on whatever whatever is available on <laughs> online whatever people post it online which is super helpful of course so um yeah it, it basically applies to a lot of things actually yeah. it, and it just depends again on availability where you are some things might not be available too right and then you're wondering how the heck am i ever going to choose like how, how i'm going to choose a size yeah. or the color or, or whatever or like even the style you don't know does it right? even fit does it even fit? Look like your yeah. glasses. Does it even fit? I would have never bought sunglasses without trying. So for you to buy, it was probably really brave. Like you did your research. I could not be bothered. <laughs> I'll be like, no, I can't try it. There's no way. But I can understand because there isn't any stir. But in Singapore, there's this giant gentle monster at a the corner there. So you should just come over and try every I single. Will. I think that is why I have so much fun when I travel because I, I get access to different stores that I normally wouldn't. So like when I go to Hong Kong or even when I was in Singapore, I, I thought it was heaven. Like every <laughs> everywhere I go, I'm like, whoa, it's a big store. <laughs> it's like normally it's a little stall here. <laughs> like a little stall. You go in, there's a few models. They never have stock or they might have one. But Three seasons ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, with a couple more questions. We're almost out, but let's finish the questions. Mm. Okay, Christine L., are Chanel, uh, sorry, are YSL and LV good brands to start with in your 20s to get a taste of luxury bags? Or is it better to wait longer and save up for Chanel? Oh, God. Okay, okay, before you answer this, can I just say, <laughs> watch our video, our luxury live show with Oksana. <laughs> <laughs> she is the most straightforward. She's like, when you're in your 20s, enjoy your LVs. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, that is well. exactly okay, what we did so too, funny. Right? Yeah, that's I, what I'm saying. Yeah, she was. She means well. She means well. It was just really funny. No, no, but she's speaking from like speaking truth, right? Honestly, like, uh, I when I looked at this question, I have two thoughts because we are we are giving our advice as a forty year old woman based on <laughs> what you have been through the last two decades so obviously a 20 year old watching us oh, yeah. or maybe a teenager watching us who's trying to get into luxury will maybe think that oh it looks like the smarter route or the faster route is to go straight to chanel and save up mm. for it just save longer get the actual chanel which is a valid it is a valid way to do it too because you're watching from someone who's done it like done it all 20 years. And wrong things already and then it's actually not even wrong because had I not gone through all of the LVs and before LVs, it was coach and all the boutique brands, yeah, 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 everything. About, how, how would I know? Right. So for yep. me, I don't think I would ever have 
changed it. I don't think I would ever been have been able to go straight to Chanel because I I think I tried. I bought one Chanel bag in 2010 and I got so freak out. I freaked out so much that I sold it two months later at a loss, mm. which makes no sense. It was a classic reissue in a caviar limited edition. So I kind of made that, I tried to make that shortcut. It didn't work out because I was not ready for it. So it, yeah, I don't think either way is wrong, but it just depends on you as well. I, I think you made a really good point. Are you ready for it? Mm. To jump straight to, uh, okay, there's two, okay, so two kinds of uh, journeys, right? One is the type like our Alex or Monsieur Alex, where his his luxury journeys was this way, was skyrocketed. So by the time he's in early 20s, he knows Cartier is not for me. I like certain brands. So he's because he's gone through a few of that and he's been in that um, a space of, you know, people around him who has that kind of exposure and experience. And he himself formulated that this is my design and really quickly. So he's exponential. But I think for most of us, to be from that to that might be a too much of a shock, right? Because unless that is your journey, like to save in a couple of months and then you just splurge everything on a Chanel, we might not be ready for it from, from just our work career, from our day-to-day -day lives, using the bag. You know, if you're still in school and you're carrying like a Chanel, I don't know, right? We don't know what kind of journey that is. Like for us, we had to go through all the other brands, loving it, letting it go, loving it, still loving it or not loving it anymore. And then finally decide, okay, you know what? I think I'm ready for the big guns. <laughs> Financially, mentally, uh, maybe at a certain age, you just don't care anymore about what people say. Like, so what if I want to spend every single cent on an expensive bag? Yeah. I don't care. Compared to when you're young, you do care. You do care what people say about you. Sorry, I don't care anymore, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's also, also what you said, and I want to reiterate that, exposure. What were you exposed to? So maybe your parents or your aunt or your, I don't know, your friends, they've, they, they've already been carrying Birkins and, yeah. and nails around forever, and that's all you see. Whereas when I grew up, there was nothing like my mom done, doesn't even have a handbag. So like we grew up not seeing any of those things. Uh -huh. For me, the first time that I saw a coach bag, I was in my uh, early 20s. I thought I was like, I thought that was luxury. A coach yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it in my teens. Not so yeah, not so much. Old, but I saw it at like 15. I was like, oh, my God, no, my God, for me, God, no, it was God, definitely coach. not my teens. It was definitely after I graduated already. And then I started meeting different friends, especially because um i was traveling and visiting this city back then that's when i saw all these brands i'm like where have i been like i've never seen them before i actually have never so my exposure came very late and i think mm -hmm. that plays a big role into whether you're ready or not uh, for those big guns brands because i was definitely not ready not even in my late 20s i was not ready for chanel yet yeah because and even so so like um, Oksana was saying, like when she first moved to Canada, right? Mm -hmm. She was in that stage of her life where she would save for certain things, but was she ready and financially ready for all of that? And she said no, but she enjoyed everything that she's bought then, right? The LVs, the... Uh, was it Cavalli? She said the, there's a Versace coach. There's a Versace Medusa bag that she still wants to buy back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She let that go, right? So was her journey straight away to the Chanel's and all? Financially, probably not, but also probably mentally, right? Yeah. Exposure, probably in the heart, like I wanted it, but was I ready then? No, no way, no way. You make a good point. My heart wanted it. Yeah. And I tried getting, oh, I got it. But I never wore that dang thing. <laughs> So. And then I was like feeling guilty. Oh my God, $4,000 exactly. in my closet. It was only $4,000 back then. Oh my God, $4,000 is sitting in my closet. I sold it. Yeah. Like, oh. The guilt, I, I think the guilt is one. Like now we, now there's guilt, but it's sort of like, ah, it's okay. Lah. 
yeah now it's like we'll ah, deal whatever. with it later okay we'll just, like, deal with it later <laughs> deal with it later we're fine yeah. okay well okay no worries but then oh my gosh are you no <laughs> no 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 not that definitely not up okay so that was a fun question it, it, yeah so um enjoy your <laughs> When you're in 20s, you do you, right? You do you. Your exposure, your experience, um, what you know would really set the stage. Uh, whether you want to go skyrocketing to the very expensive one, which you absolutely can. I'm not saying no, you cannot. You just have to be ready for it financially, mentally, uh, maybe your social circle, or just be okay that it might not go out so often. I don't know. So many things. It really depends. Okay. I think that is the last one. Uh, so this one, okay, just quickly, Kat, have you checked the in the loop? I have. I tried it. Um, yeah, it's okay. I found it a little bit lightish, which, you know, anyway, I have my Bottega already. So no more buying <laughs> Bottega for a bit. And I think that's all. Uh, one more. Okay, last one. For the love of bags, I ended up buying a black medium, a medium black classic flap in patent leather in new condition from Fashion File. I will do my best to take care of it so it doesn't get sticky. Any tips? Oh. Ooh, patent bags. I think there were some tips about not putting it in the sun, definitely. Don't put it where... Keep it somewhere where it's dark and cool. Um yeah, I, I think, think kind of... uh, for the love of bags, you're in California, right? I think, I think California is probably okay. I, I just know that um, here they recommend that you keep your Chanel items, whether costume jewelry or your bags, in an open, non-humid area. So mm. I think as long as your bag can breathe. But it's also a, a non-humid room. Like your the room humidity and temperature cannot always change so much. I personally, I I I would use the the nice microfiber. You know, like the dust bag is that nice microfiber. I would use that as like, you know, the if you want to display it, I would mm. I would use that on on the shelf and and put the bag on top and. Actually, maybe not display display more like having having it in in like a billy shelf so you can still display you can see through it but like I would still be inside the shelf that's what I would do unless I would otherwise I would just leave it in the dust bag all the time but yeah. but leave it in an open non-humid area so even if it's in your billy shelf as long as because the billy shelf is not completely sealed right so that's still open and it's not humid that's what I would do, but ah, uh, I don't have a ton of experience to be honest. So the only patent bag that I had was from the LV, the LV one, which I had for a few months, which is exactly what I did. I just left it in the it, in its own microfiber dust bag, and I left it on the shelf. Uh, so it's away from dust and everything, but it's still in an open area, and it was mm. yeah breathable and everything. So. I don't have my bag right now, but since we are almost running out of time, tomorrow we have the members live. I will show you my my Chanel walk, which is patent leather. It's a good thing that you bought yours in black. So the one that I have, so I'll show tomorrow during your members live. Like it's totally no longer turquoise. Okay. It's like poop green. <laughs> <laughs> because the color has run. And I think that's the issue with patent. It's not sticky. Having said that, there are some parts a little sticky and it's definitely because I don't store it as well as what you're sharing. I think if I did it that way, I would maybe not have it as sticky, but the color has totally like, I'll show tomorrow. Okay, I'll remember to take it out and I'll show tomorrow during the members live. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I think that is it. Thank you for all the comments. We, I think you guys really enjoyed it. Shall we do Celine next week? I think Celine, we can do next. I think, I we, think we could. Let's see what the. Are you guys. Do you guys think it's a good idea? Do you guys. Yeah, just quickly let us know. Shall we do Celine section? next week? Just comment quickly. Type a yes or yeah, a no. Type a yes, type a no. <laughs> Give us an idea of who you want us to do. Uh, <laughs> or even we in the do, comment section if you're watching that post live. Yeah, comment section as well. That's right. So, yeah, let us know. Uh, Celine could be one. I'm thinking. Um, 
What are really popular? Fendi? I Fendi is definitely um it's not making a comeback, but I'm seeing a lot of Fendi unboxings for some reason. Yeah, maybe Fendi, how about Fendi? Fendi is a good one to explore because we don't talk about it so much and it's really on the rise right now. It's so popular, especially the ready to wear. We could oh, we could mix a few. Maybe we could do fin, uh, some. If we find any nice ready to wear, we could also pop in some. Actually, there is one bag that I kind of like, though Clara did say it looks like a bralette. But never mind. We could do. Yeah, let's do. Okay, I think. All right, we're getting we're getting quite a few yeses. All right, so let's do Fendi next week, similar to this week. I think that will be really fun to uh talk about. <laughs> all right good. guys but, and tomorrow Thank is a uh, members live i just have to post it uh yeah so to tomorrow's members list. members live is on amy's channel so join us over there it's going to be really really fun yeah so we get some fendies as well all right maybe we'll do like next month we'll do a couple anyway thank you everyone for today we will see the members tomorrow and yeah we'll, or we'll see you guys next week bye bye